is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Nick in Tampa. Hey, Nick, what's going on? Tom O'Brien, it is an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. We appreciate you calling. No problem. Um, dude, I've been listening to your show for about two years now, and it has just been wonderful. I listen to you, Basil, Andy. You guys do an amazing job. Well, thank you so much. Um, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept your own beauty. You are beautiful no matter what your mind tells you. That is a fact. If you're aware of your own beauty and accept your own beauty, the opinions of others doesn't affect you at all. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 27, NASDAQ off 16, S&P's down 4, gold contract up $5.80, trading at 12, 24 an ounce. Silver up 9 cents, $16.30 an ounce. Platinum up 5.5 bucks at 9.16 an ounce. Copper up a penny and a half. 250 a pound, light sweet crude up 46 cents, 47 dollars 80 cents a barrel. Notes, 10-year note up four ticks, 124.30, 30 year bond up six ticks, 150.23. King dollar down 54 ticks, trading at 99.505. The euro is at 108 to the US dollar. The yen is trading at 113.86 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get the SPY down 56 cents. You really get a flat market here, folks, a sideways market. Uh, we got down today to a price point of 238.13. Uh, you are going to have an expansion of volume. That's what it looks like. But the bottom line is that uh, that didn't want to hold uh, on price down there. So we'll see how this shakes into the close. Right now, with an hour into the close, uh, bottom line is that uh, it's done a retracement right to the, you know, we gapped down this morning, but it retraced right to that level. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow. The Dow is a weak bird out here. Uh, so the Dow gets down to a price point of uh, 20798 uh, the top of the first gap is 792. So you got right above the first gap. Volume wise, out here, what we're going to do uh, right now, you're at 528. So it looks like we're going to do an expansion of volume. Looks like that, that could get down to about uh, 850, 900. The composite, the NASDAQ composite, the NDX 100, they both came down. And uh, the way that these are laying out, this is going to get really intriguing because what you had yesterday is that we we're at closed at highs. You're only down $17 right now. Uh, you're at 61.12. We got to a low of 61.75. This, however, is still a bearish setup. It's going to be intriguing to see if, in fact, we get the expansion of volume. So uh, it's going to be a close call on the NASDAQ because right now we've only done $1.4 billion. Uh, it's going to need a couple billion uh, to basically give you a confirmation that, yeah, we came down and you came down, you had that volume expand. Uh, the NDX 100, if we take a look at the three Qs, what you have with the three Qs is this. Now, the three Qs did go to a lower low and have the volume. Uh, we made a high yesterday with 20 million. You've already done 21.8 million. So, bottom line, what I expect with the, in the three Qs is that you're going to be right back down to this level, whether it's tomorrow or Monday. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here is trading up 610. You're at 1225. Now, we get action here in gold. You know, you don't have monster price action, but what you have is this, folks, is that you're up $6.20. You get a nice expansion of volume. You know, we've done 225,000 contracts. 
I do want to see it get back inside the 1225 area. You know, right now you're at 1224.80. The high of today is 1227. I'd love to see it get inside that 1225. So 122570, folks, is the low of May 4th. We get open, we take a look at the silver market. Let's go take a look at silver. Silver is trading. Silver is trading at a price point of 1630. You've done 61 million contracts. Silver needs more volume, you know. Bottom line, that's not that's not enough. I mean, you back inside $16.21. Uh, silver still needs to catch a, you know, catch a bid. That's the, that's the bottom line. Notes. Now, this is where it's going to get really intriguing. So, the 10-year note, 30-year bond, specifically, let's start with the 10. So, the 10-year, the 125 number is to keep your eye on. 125 is where we took out the consolidation that we've been in for four months. We got above that consolidation April 3rd. Goes up, has nice juice in the way up, has been teetering to try to get back inside that level. That being said, the 10-year looks like it wants to be out of that level. And, you know, bottom line, a couple more ticks, it's going to be out of that level. We go over to the 30-year. We take a look at the 30-year. What do you have with the 30-year? 30-year today got to 150.07, has rejected that level, and has light of volume. So the 30-year is basically saying that, okay, the 30-year can try to make a run once again up to the 153, no, 151.06. And King Dollar, King Dollar basically is still screaming that it wants lower price. This is going to be a nice major failure out here today. That's what it looks like. And this is what you have. You have King Dollar trading at 99,530. It made it up to 99.765. Your gap is 99.560, and you had a monster contraction of volume, folks. We're, all, we're only at 17,700. So that is a beautiful setup for a failure. Uh, if we close right where we are right now, you get a failure. Uh, anything under 560, 99,560 is a failure, and bigger than that, um, is that, you know, this thing had a big contraction. We went from 29,600 to 17,700. So bottom line, what that sets up, that sets up a dollar that wants to go south. And if we do go back to the um, metals market for a second, what you're going to see, the actual equities have caught a big bid out here today. Uh, bottom line is that you have the XAU up $2.23. That is trading at $83.74. Uh, that's trading into its downdraft from the 25th. And uh, the bottom of that downdraft is 81.31. The top is 84.57. That's saying, guess what, man? We're going to the top. More than likely, we're going to go up into this 85 to 88 area. And the Gold Bugs Index, that was the XAU. Gold Bugs Index is up $4.40. You're at 194.29. That also isn't the same bar, and in both those cases, you get the juice behind the bar. In fact, if we go look at the GDX, uh, that's going to come in with some, uh, not only price out here today, that's going to be coming with some good volume out here today, too. You stay right there, folks. We're coming back, right back with our man, Mr. Andy Heck. Right now, you have the uh, Dow Industrials down 19, NASDAQ off 14, S&P's down 3.5. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. 
for all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The so Dow right now is down 25. You get the Nasdaq off 15, S&P's off three and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck, as we do each Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, Andy's got a great show right here at TFNN, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday and Thursday. Get it right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You hit Tiger TV. You can also get Andy's new newsletter. Now, the way you do that, you can test drive it. You come over to our website at TFNN. Go to newsletters, and then when you go to newsletters, you're going to see daily essential uh, equities by our man, Mr. Andy Heck. You can get on there right here, right now. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Going, doing good, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, so so the, the Trump bump turned into the Trump slump in commodities. And I'm just wondering when the Trump slump is going to start in uh, stocks. I, you know, there, there, there's, well, I can show you a, a couple in stocks that, you know, did it. I mean, U.S. Steel, the start, U.S. Steel yes. was actually was lower, uh, is lower now than it was on the run-up. The run-up yes. started at, well, that's the same price, I guess. It started at 20 yes. bucks, went to 41, now it's 20. Uh, but I agree, I, I, you know, because, listen, folks, this is what really is bizarre. If you want to see this if, in fact, that's what you get, and, and my take is that that's exactly what we're going to get, uh, is it's pretty, if you go down to November uh, 9th on the uh, S&P, you're talking 240 points, man. <laughs> Yes, yes. I mean, U.S. Steel, I still think that thing has a bounce up to about 25 in it. But, uh, I mean, this thing was trading at $41 a share. So, you know, this thing has, has Trump slumped. No question. So, you know, commodities, though, you, you had silver. We had silver go from 1872 down to 1606. Where are we now? We're bouncing, but we're at 1630. Gold was almost 1300. It's down at 12 and a quarter. Copper was 280. It's 250. Oil, 54. It was down below 44. Now, now we're, we're, we're catching a little bit of a bid. So commodities have had the Trump slump. Uh, I think that the next shoe to drop is equities. Hey, we'll find out. We'll find out. I mean, you know, uh, we're, listen, we're, I'm, we're, I'm in the camp, but I've been in that camp for a while, so. No, I understand. I understand. But hey, lots of interesting stuff today. 
You got some, uh, you know, silver we talked about already. That's uh, that that thing. That thing needs some volume and it needs some action. It does. It does. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, coffee. Coffee put in a bearish key reversal on the daily chart today. But cotton put in a bullish one. Okay. <laughs> So yesterday we had the World Agricultural Supply and Demand Estimates report. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the May report is never really an important report because it's kind of very tentative. Because USDA is like you and me. They have no idea what the weather is going to be over the coming months. Sure. But the interesting takeaway, there's two, two interesting takeaways. The first one is the thing that's consistent always, and that's that demand is on the rise. And that's just a function of population. The other interesting thing is that the USDA is predicting in corn, in beans, in wheat, um, lower production this year. And they're predicting lower production because of less planting. For example, you look at France. France is, is planting sugar beets this year instead of planting corn because the econ ec economics of it is just better. So if we do get a weather event, you know, we could see some wild markets. I mean, look at what happened after that snowstorm. We had big ticks up in all the grains. Uh, they've come back down to earth. But certainly, you know, we haven't had uh, uh, any big season-wide weather events since 2012. And we remember what happened there. Yes. You know, the price of wheat was over 9 bucks. Corn, soybeans, all-time highs. You had corn at 8.5 bucks a bushel. I mean, where is corn now? About 360 Right. That's pretty intense, you had soybeans. Man. You had soybeans at eighteen dollars a bushel. Where are they now? Nine dollars and uh, I'm trying to look for them on my screen. Uh, you know, let's let's just take a quick look here. Nine sixty six. So you know, almost double, almost double the prices. So we'll we'll see we'll see what happens here. But um, you know, weather is weather is the ultimate uh, predictor, the the ultimate arbiter rather of of where these things are going to go. Let's take a look at oil and natural gas because those are moving. Uh, yeah, oil they, they, that was a small draw compared to what they thought today in natural gas. Yes, it was. They were expecting 55. They got 45. And natural gas went up to two, uh, 338.80. Uh, resistance up at about 342. Um, thing looked strong. Yeah. You want to hear something interesting? Last year, natural gas rallied from $1.6110 on the lows in March. Yeah. All the way up, you know, to, to, to like four bucks. Uh, it was just below four bucks in December. You get a similar move on a percentage basis this year that you got last year. That brings it to six twenty-five. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to get that, but um, <laughs> that would be know, quite a, a move, man. Basis, that would be quite a move, right? Yeah, it's kind of hanging in there. the The problem with natural gas is that open interest is is like twenty thousand contracts away from an all time high. Uh, you have a new de demand vertical, the liquefied natural gas. You got hurricane season coming up on us, um, but you got a lot of supplies. We're still, you know, uh, um, let's see, we are still 13.6% uh, above where we are, were for the last five-year average. So there's a lot of supplies around of natural gas, but the price is uh, kind of ignoring that. No, at the right now it is. There's no doubt, man. <laughs> and you know, uh, I I guess the last thing I want to see is a storm in the Gulf. But guess what? We know if, if one comes in, as you brought up the last time, it's going to be a little bit. There's two different things that happen, folks. If the storm comes in the Gulf, if you just have actually when you look at Louisiana and how the Gulf is set up, that's why they always get screwed because it just sucks right up. Um, right. Now the difference is now is that those LGN plants that are actually exporting gas that was that 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 would change the dynamic right yes that, sabine yeah. pass uh, yeah. uh first of all you have two things in louisiana you have the sabine pass because it's close to the ports that are taking uh the natural gas down to south america or down past the panama canal or places like that but more importantly uh, and this has always been the case the delivery point for nymex natural gas is a place called erath louisiana okay and that's where the pipelines lead. Right. And Arath, Louisiana, you know, that's close, close to the coast. It's it's not, you know, far enough. So those, the, even when, I mean, it's it's not on the coast, but when those big, you know, Cat Four and Cat Five storms come across the coast, they break the coastline. Man, they do a lot of damage, and that's and, infrastructure. And, and let me tell you something, folks. If you've ever been down there, and I've been down there. In fact, when we were coming out of Katrina, you know, ten days after Katrina hit, we got out through Louisiana. And Louisiana, folks, you can be in a, an hour 
from the coast, and it's oh, still you flat. It. You can look down. If you spit, it's going to yeah. be a flood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the sea level is ridiculous. It is. There. No, it is. It's amazing. You see the road, and then you look on the yeah. right-hand side, the left-hand side, and you see water. Yeah, yeah. crazy, yeah. right? It's yeah. just crazy. So, so let's let's just uh, turn turn the, the the page over to oil here because, you know, oil had a classic move last week, Tom. On May fifth, it spiked. Yeah, right? it, it did. did that classic blow off spike down. Down. Yeah. Forty three seventy six. Huge volume. A million and three quarter contracts yeah. settled higher on the day. And it's followed through very nicely since. And I think it's heading back to 50 bucks, which I, I continue to believe. And I, I've even last week, I've been saying it's the sweet spot for crude. It's half the price well, it was in June 2014, double the price half. it was in February 2016. Yeah. And if you stay right there, folks, you're going to see that the good old Saudis are going to come in and bribe Trump. So no bottom line, <laughs> at uh, no, I'm, I'm totally serious. At six minutes before three, before I just get on, folks, the Saudis just announced they're going to hit their, their sovereign oh. wealth fund, and they, they they plan on coming spending $40 billion into the U.S. Yeah, they're looking for friends. Stay right there. Andy and I are coming right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Heck. We are talking commodities. I know, don't forget, folks, Andy's got a great show right here at TFNN. 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. You get it right on your cell phone, tfnn.com, hit Tiger TV. So, Andy, when, when we're just ending there, so 
right before I get on, uh, so here's the headlines, folks, okay? Saudi Arabia is preparing to cement ties with uh, Trump by committing unprecedented investments in the U.S. The, the kingdom's sovereign wealth fund is set to announce plans to deploy as much as $40 billion into U.S. infrastructure. Uh, bottom line, that's, there we come. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, look, Trump has said to the Saudis and to many others, look, you want American military might behind you? You got to pay up. So, you know, how they're going to pay up, this could be the quid pro quo. The, the bottom line is that the Saudis have always been investing in the U.S. Look at Prince Al-Walid, who, you know, is a member of the royal family who owned, you know, I th I, I'm not sure if he still owns, but I know he owned the, the lion's share of Citigroup. Yeah, no, um, he still does. Yeah. 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 They, they've, made, they've made major investments. And, and the, the bottom line with the Saudis and the royal family is they're afraid of one thing, and that's Iran. <laughs> And they need the U.S. in their – they need to be in the good graces of the U.S., the administration, Congress, everyone. Sure. So that we provide military security for them. And, you know, it's one way of paying for it is to invest a lot of money in the U.S. Sure. No doubt. Right? So not, not a not a surprise, right? <laughs> no, no, it's not, not a surprise. It's not. And I, I think that has very little to do with Trump. I think it just has to do with the Saudis' uh, uh, worries about about Iran. No, that, it's a PR deal. It definitely has to do with Trump. Give me a break, <laughs> oh, man. Do you know? Yeah, I right. Mean, uh, right. That's you, you don't on. think that the let me ask you a question. Regardless of who's president, the Saudis the Saudis need protection against Iran, correct? Yeah. yeah. So. You know, they, 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 they've, they've been very close to the U.S. for decades. Uh, they'll continue to be very close. But now with Trump, they got to pay up. So here's their quid pro quo. <laughs> well, they got to. Yeah, they they right. they they got to do well, a rap. Every, everyone does a rap. It's it's a rap. Right. It's not right. a real deal. It's it's fake. It's okay. a it's a fake. It's a fake deal. We'll see how it shakes out. We'll see how it shakes out. Uh, going back to crude oil, I, something really important I want to point out to everyone: crude oil hit its lows on May fifth. You know, and what we saw is we saw lows in the processing spreads in uh, gasoline and yeah. in heating oil on May 1st. And I think this is like a lesson for everyone out there that we got to keep an eye on these processing spreads because yeah. we look, Tom, you and I, we don't go out and fill our cars or, right. or cool or heat our houses with 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 raw crude oil. We buy oil products. We buy products that come to the market. Uh, by trucks, and that's distillates, you know, diesel fuels. We get on airplanes, we travel, you know, we're consumers of jet fuel. We, we, we fill our cars with gasoline. We're consumers of oil products, not raw oil. So the, our consumption, people all over the, the world, our consumption is, 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 is reflected in these processing spreads, and they translate to, to oversupply or, or deficits you know, that develop in a short-term uh, basis in terms of the products, and then, you know, they either make more or stockpile these products, and that affects the price of crude oil, which is the input for all of these products. So on May 1st, we saw bottoms in heating oil. We saw bo uh, heating oil uh, crack spreads, bottoms in, in gasoline crack spreads, and they turned higher. Now, oil continued to go lower, but when it spiked down and hit that low, you know, we didn't see a huge reaction in crack spreads. Crack spreads con continued on their merry way to recovery, and that was a signal. That was an yes. important signal that, hey, crude oil is going to find a bottom in here. And and the thing that I like about crude oil here is that they are continuing to rally. Today we're up 30 cents. Even a, 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 strong, a good up day in crude oil, we got the crack spreads up. The, the, we got the uh, gasoline crack spread right now up 55 cents to 17.90 almost. We have the heating oil crack spread up 15 cents in off season to almost 14.80. These things, you know, the, the, the heating oil crack spread was $1.40 lower on May 1st, and the, the gasoline crack spread, that sucker was trading at $14.98. We're almost at 18 bucks. These are big moves on a percentage basis. Man, they move and, around and a lot, don't they? They Holy move around a lot. They do. But, but they are great, great timing signals for watching crude oil, and they tell you a lot about what's going to go on in right. crude oil. Right, right. The other thing that's interesting to me is, you know, silver was the leader of the pack in all these commodities. Actually, iron ore was. Iron ore really kind of hit the skids. That sucker has gone from 90 bucks a ton to 60 bucks a ton. 
during the Trump slump here. Uh, but silver, really, of the traded commodities, the speculative commodities, silver, 14 days down in a row, down like 16 out of 19 days, uh, you know, traded to a low of 16.06. Now we're where? It's 16.32 or so. Um, hasn't really bounced that much. Silver, keep your eye on silver, because I think that silver, the speculative interest comes back and silver starts moving up a lot, uh, moving up again, you know, through 16.50, 17 bucks. You, you're going to see the bid come back to commodities. But if it can't do that and it, and it tests 15.70 and fails, it could be really ugly. The Trump slump could turn into a Trump dump. Yeah. Well, you know, you know that being said, the, the gold equities have caught a good bid. Yes, so, I saw that. So, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, we'll see, you know, if silver can basically, you know, catch up. You know, yeah. if, if silver, we look at... Silver needs... Silver's been a leader, man. I mean, silver has been... Let's put up a chart of the silver-gold ratio for you to take a look at here. I'll try to clear this out. For okay. The technical stuff. So you could see... This thing has gone from like 68 up to 75 to one. That's significant. Like it costs 68 ounces of silver to buy an ounce of gold back in uh, uh, on April 17th. Uh, today it costs 75 ounces of silver, which just shows you that silver has been the leader on the downside and has been a, a you know a horrible performer. But if I put the silver chart up and I take a look at what open interest has done, Tom. Open interest has gone from a record high, and it's gone down like almost 20%. So everyone, you know, all the longs in silver, a lot of the longs in silver just bailed out. They threw in the towel. Yeah. And that's kind of cleaned the market out. And the thing to remember is that on a technical basis, falling open interest and falling price is not necessarily a technical validation of an emerging bearish trend. Now, having said that, the thing dropped two and a half bucks. So, you know, if you're, you're trading these technicals just as that, you know, you get massacred. But yeah. standing back a couple of steps and taking a look at it, you say, Ooh, maybe I shouldn't be so bearish here in silver. You know, uh, maybe maybe it's not going to go in and test this uh, December low at 1570. This And that is a level of critical support for, for the silver yeah. market. And, you know, what you had out here today, uh, Andy, is that, I mean, this dollar failed, you know. I mean, yes. it had every yeah. chance to basically get in that range and it just couldn't do it. So it's but the like, dollar's been, the do, you know, the, 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 the real uh, uh, divergence, the real kind of paradox that's going on lately is that the dollar has been weak and commodities have been weak at the same time. Yes. So, yes. so you know, if the dollar does crack down below 98, maybe we'll get a big bid come back to the commodities market. But my fear is that, you know, the dollar reasserts, we go up to 10060, which is that pivot point. Listen, yeah. we were at 103.815 in January. Sure. And, and real divergence, uh, silver dose uh, alongside the dollar. So it's, it's an interesting time. The other one to keep an eye on is copper. And copper is trading at 250. Right near the lows. 250. Listen, folks, right here, 5 to 6 o'clock tonight. Remember, no matter where you're listening right now, remember, you can get Andy and you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. Hit Tiger TV. Andy, thanks so much, man. We look forward to show at 5. Thanks, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe you one. Too. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger's TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. 
with over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 27. NASDAQ's up 13. SPs are up 3.5. And, and, you know, you talk about a couple of gold stocks. So, Royal Gold, folks, you, you talk about catching a bid. Now, what's intriguing about this, they come out with their numbers last night. So, this is up $4.74 at $75.23. And when you take your first look at this, uh, you know, they reported the earnings per share of uh, um, $0.36. Cents. Uh, the consensus was $0.35. Cents. Uh, but then you had, you had a couple uh, blurps saying that they missed estimates. So here, let's watch this. Okay, so revenue, uh, the estimate was, uh, oh, I see what it is. Okay, so the, re the estimate was 107 million. They came in in 1.7. The gold equivalent uh, production was 87,000. Uh, when the, f the first estimate came out last night, the estimate was 38 cents. They made 36. The bottom line is that they had a conference call uh, and that conference call, uh, bottom line, whatever they said inside that conference call, uh, it took it up and it took it up in a huge way. I mean, big time too. Um, you know, so that in itself, uh, is putting uh, some, uh, uh, juice into the, uh, GDX, the XAU, the HUI, uh, all of the above. Uh, Royal Gold is only 2.8% of the GDX, but it is, put, it is putting juice into it. So if we could take a look at that uh, GDX, GDX is trading 33 million shares. Now you're coming into like a 60 million deal, yeah, 70 million deal. So we'll see what kind of uh, volume comes into the GDX at the close. Uh, it is into the downdraft. Uh, which was the bottom of that downdraft is 2195 here, 2245. So that's saying now we'll go to the top of that downdraft, which is 2292. Uh, the performance inside the XAU and the HUI is, uh, are beauties. There, that's there's no two ways about that. You get the XAU uh, right into the bar, the downdraft bar, because that's one of the benchmarks. The top of that benchmark is 8457. The bottom is 8131, and we are at 8372. The Gold Bugs Index, same setup. Uh, that's at up one. That's up 450 uh, at 194. Now the top of that bar is 197. The bottom is 189. So you're so far into that bar that is saying, guess what? The top of that bar is game. What's going to be intriguing here, of course, is that we are coming into um, Friday, and Friday is always dangerous inside the metals market. 
Uh, if we go over to the uh, broad markets and we take a look at it, this is pretty wild. And, uh, you know, the Tigers in the den, uh, no doubt, uh, we're talking about that the 345 timeline is that, okay, the buy is going to come back in. And what's, what's pretty wild here is that what I was going to put in that Tigers den when I started the program, well, hey, guess what? You know, that, that buy-in actually start coming in this morning at 11 o'clock. But sure enough, here we go. Uh, it's, 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 it's coming in. Now, what's going to be intriguing here is that what this is, this is, you know, on, if you're a candlestick charting person, what this is, is that you, you get, you get a doji from yesterday, now you get a nice little hanging man here. So it's actually a bearish setup. And if, in fact, it looks to me like, yeah, you're going to have an intraday low that has higher volume too. So, you know, We'll see where this uh, ends up going tomorrow morning. But that, uh, when you get a, what you like to see is like when Andy and I were just talking about the oil market, you like to see that happen at lows because then that's what's hammering out a bottom. When that's happening at highs, guess what? You get, you're hanging out there big time. Um, Macy's, let's go take a look at Macy's. So Macy's, folks, you know, went south. Now, this is the amazing thing. Okay, sorry, I, I'll take that phone call. Uh, what you have with Macy's is that Macy's took out a B point on a monthly of an ABC structure on the way down, and you have volume behind the move. Macy's has a price projection, folks, of 8 bucks, and right now we're $24.30. The amazing part about it is that when you take a look at it, what that is setting up, that's setting up the lows of uh, 2008. That's how it's set up. Let's go to Robert in L.A. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. So you want to look at uh, Great Panther? Yes, uh, I was looking at the chart. I thinking of buying it here at dollar twenty. Would it stop? I think there was a low at like one fifteen or one fourteen. If you're gonna buy it here, I would put it a lot less than one fourteen or one fifteen. You can't. You know, I, I can understand it when you look at a percentage like that, but you can't do that with low price stocks. You know. This thing, well, here, let's look at it. Today, you know, it's, it's, today it moved five pennies, you know, 117 to 122. These stocks will move five, you know, 10 pennies in a second, man. I mean, I, I would buy it, but I would put a good 10 cents, 12 cents stop in it, man. You know, a four cent stop is going to stop you out, man. Just, you know, every day, you know, this thing can move 15, 16 cents in a second. Do you know what I mean? That's what these lower price stocks do. What? What the Great Panther needs is it needs a sign of strength, and it has not got one. You know, mm -hmm. it needs a sign of strength. So. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, high. Oh, here. Okay. After the after close out here today, this is going to get interesting. Uh, J W N. So. You get Nordstrom's going to be coming out after the close. Now Nordstrom is down 368 right now. We. Take a look at this. Put this back. Okay, so, yeah, this is problematic, too. This is sick, man, what's happening here. So, Nostrum, you know, guess what? This is the same type of setup here. What, what, where do you see how this sets up? So, this is an ABC down, too. It's already confirmed one, too, by the way. 7760 is your A. Your B's 44, 54, 64, 70, 30 bucks. So, you're talking $32. Yeah, you get a $32 confirmed ABC structure on the way down. And that's when it broke last May. Because it's, it's a, on a monthly, this is, ends up being a complex one. But if you want to see how a complex one works, this is what you have. This is, that's, that's the bottom line. And more than likely, what we're going to see here, guess what? This thing probably is going to get blown apart. And this is also going to test its lows on the highs of uh, 2008, which is $16 or $6. six dollars. You know, it's pretty intense. Uh, the, you know, the, the disruptive nature uh, inside that retail market right now, folks, uh, is about as intense as you can get. No doubt about it. Yeah, let's go take a look at uh, Bitcoin. Uh, man, Mr. Andy Hecht is in the den talking Bitcoin right here. And the, the sickest thing is, is that Bitcoin, um, 
So look at this. Bitcoin right now, folks, is trading at $1,840 per coin. This has been a one-way trade. The, on April 13th, so not even a month, Bitcoin was $1,150. It's $1,840. We go back to January, Bitcoin was $752. Pretty intense. You want to see how really intense it gets? <laughs> You can, oh, you can go back to just two years and Bitcoin, let's see, let me go back. Here you go, right here. Not even two years. This is like sick. What month went? There we go. So exactly two years ago, Bitcoin was $227.63. And guess what? It's $18.40. Pretty intense. I'd still rather own gold. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is uh, down 21. NASDAQ is off 11. S&Ps are up 2.5. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. After the close again tonight, uh, bottom line is you're going to get a bunch more numbers. Uh, you know, uh, Nostrum, will, I suspect, uh, as I was going through these, excuse me, folks, uh, Nostrum is one of the big ones. Uh, so that's going to be right after the close, too. Let's see what this symbol is. Um, Live Ventures, nope. And JAG, J-A-G. 
No, most of them, there's, there's a lot of them coming out, but the bottom line, Nordstrom, it looks to me like it's going to be about the biggest one out there. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at the uh, three Qs and see where we're coming with the volume here. Uh, three Qs have done 23 million, so that's going to be about 27 million. That's, that's down on some juice. You have the um, Spy, uh, that's going to be a hanging man up there too. Uh, that, well, it's going to be close. I mean, uh, th that's actually not that much volume. The Spy is 51 million, and uh, at the open, it had a lot, uh, quite a bit of volume. We'll see what they push into it. Uh, we go over to the IWM. There we go. Okay, so the IWM's got some juice. In fact, the IWM, oh, this is, this is a good indication of where we're going. Check this out. So the IWM, folks, is a confirmed ABC down. It's going to be a complex one. It broke the B point today and broke it with volume. Oh, this is cool. I love these. So 141.80 to 137. Ballpark four, that's 135. Yeah, you got an ABC down. This is going to be pretty cool. It's great when, the, when you basically get these uh, counter trend bounces after you've broken a swing and you have volume on the break. So bottom line is that the IWM is basically telegraphing. Uh, you get that ABC structure on the way down. Uh, we go take a look at the uh, volume inside the indices right now. You were at uh, 636 on the NYSE. That's saying it's going to go over to 820. If you get over 820, you got an expansion of volume. Uh, the NASDAQ, we'll see if the NASDAQ's going to do it. The NASDAQ is at 1.7. The NASDAQ's got to do over 2.1 in order to get an expansion of volume uh, on the way down. And, of course, uh, look at the GDX. We'll see what they throw into the close. Right now, you're at 36 million on the GDX. I'd love to see them throw a close about uh, 20 million, but I don't think they're going to close. They're not going to push that much into it. We're at 22.43. And that's enough to be over these, but we're going to need a lot more juice to get through the rest of this downdraft bar from the 25th. Uh, what we do have going for us there is uh, good old King Dollar. Uh, bottom line with uh, King Dollar. Oh, well, look at this. This is, this is going to be crazy. King Dollar is trying to make it. Let me see this. <laughs> the number to keep your eye on. Yeah, it's not going to make it, I guess, but uh, I thought it was just going to, is 99.560. Right now, you're 99.535. It doesn't look like it's going to make it. Volume is anemic, so bottom line, ran out of juice once again as it tried to get into its gap. Uh, that just sets up another larger ABC structure on the way down. You're down on volume, went up on lighter volume. Uh, you already broke the swing point. This swing point from the 27th of March has been hard for it to actually break down on. Uh, you know, we've gone... We've gone below it uh, twice thus far, and it saved itself twice thus far. You know. Now we get over and we take a look at the yen. What you have with the yen? Uh, the yen looks like uh, thus far. You know, it basically gave it up. I'd be a lot uh, more confident in the aspect that it wants to go down once it's in, at one thirteen thirty, and we're at one thirteen eighty three right now. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with lots of numbers for you once again. Dow Industrials right now are down 31. You get the Nasdaq off 15. S&Ps are off 4. Gold's up 5.30. Silver's up 10 cents. Notes are up 5. Bonds are up 5. And King Dollar's down 29. We're going to be right back, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? Happy New Year too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago oh yeah and it kind of hit me like a brick but you're right somebody always knows something hey carlos what's going on brother i'm calling you back tom this morning i had a pleasure to talk to you and your son and i don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again why well, i think you made some money on this bond <laughs> oh yes tom your newsletter helped me that's a beautiful to, uh, thing we appreciate the growling problem with us out here now tom o'brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are responsible for your own happiness. Happiness never comes from outside of you. If you put happiness in someone else's hands, they can take it away. Happiness can only come from inside of you as a result of your love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 23, NASDAQ down 13, S&P's down 3, gold contract up $5.30, trading at 1,224 an ounce. Silver up 10 cents, $16.31 an ounce. Platinum up five bucks, 9.17 an ounce. Copper up a penny at 2.50 a pound. Light sweet crude up 42 cents, $47.75 a barrel. Bonds, 10 year note up five ticks, 124.31. 30 year bond up six ticks, 150.23. Cane dollar down 59 ticks, 99.500. The euro is 108 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 113.80 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so the SPY got down to a price point today of $238.13. You closed out at 239.45, so you had quite a bounce. But guess what, folks? You get an expansion of volume. We did 56 million shares versus 54 yesterday versus 51 at the highs. You came all the way back topside. You get a hanging man here. The same wants to go right back downtown. Dow Industrials. We could take a look at the Dow. Dow is the same type of setup. Dow had a nice run back topside, but when you're at highs and you do this, it's a bearish symbol. So the Dow also had an expansion of volume. We did 861 million versus the uh, 820. Same type of setup. Uh, Dow got down to uh, 20,798. The composite, NASDAQ composite also did the same thing. Uh, composite right now closed at 61.15 only down 13 points. Normally, if that was, if it hadn't gone so low, folks, you could say that was a sideways move, but it wasn't a sideways move. It got to a lower price and had an expansion of volume. Inside the, the composite, we did 1.9 billion. Well, actually, it didn't have ex expansion of volume. It's kind of about the same, 1.927 going against 1.992, uh, going against 1.906. The NDX 100, I believe, did, though. Let's take a look at that. So, the, yeah, the NDX definitely did. The NDX, we had made a high 
on Wednesday, well, actually made it higher on Wednesday, 28 million. They tested it yesterday with 20, did with 24. Yeah, you can make the case that the NDX did, actually didn't, even it, it did 24. You definitely have a hanging man up here, though. Now we have on inside the, inside the, inside the queues, folks, what you actually have is that all the way back from the 2nd of May, those are all basically bearish signals. They're all little tiny dojis. Bottom line, you need a breakdown first, though. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract traded from a price point of 216 to 224.50. You did 230,000 contracts. That's a good number. I, I want to see more tomorrow, but that's a good number. That's a big number. Uh, the XAU, the, that is an expansion of volume, by the way, too. Uh, XAU, HUI, the gold equities caught a big bid. Uh, XAU closed at $83.84. That's at the high of the day. You're going to have volume behind this move. Uh, it's into the downdraft that was out here on the 25th. The 25th of April, these things got killed. They went from 84.57 to 81. Uh, bottom line, we went right up the other side. And the way this is trading, it not only broke the downdraft, uh, now it's, you can make the case that it's going to go right back to the last swing high, which is $90.82. That's the XAU, the HUI, same type of setup inside the Gold Bugs Index. Um, Gold Bugs Index out here today, that traded up 472. Uh, we're at 194.62. The top of that downdraft was 197. The bottom is 189. Uh, it's once, once higher price. The bond market. So notes tomorrow, folks, are going to be a big thing to keep your eye on. Because what we had out here today is that the 10-year note once again rejected lower price. Had lighter volume, all of the above. And the important part here is that you are right at where we took out the consolidation, a four-month consolidation. You know, so what happens here is this. When you take out a consolidation, you break above it, had a nice break above it, that's great. When you get back inside it, the danger always is like, guess what? You get back inside that, you can go to the bottom of that consolidation. This tenure got back inside it and has been teetering about going back inside it. You know, now each time it ducks its head inside the consolidation, the volume contracts and it says, I want out of here. Well, it, it is almost out of there. It's where we only need two ticks in order to get out of there. So I expect what is, we're going to see is more than likely tomorrow morning we're going to be out of there. It's going to get intriguing, no doubt, going into a Friday um, in this market because the bottom line is that you still have a market that's laying out at highs. If we take a look at the 30-year uh, bond, 30-year bond is inside the lower consolidation. Now, we have, what we did out here today is that we did reject lower price. It had light of volume. We'll see whether it's going to catch a bid. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar? King dollar failed on price, failed on volume, all of the above. Um, and it's quite a failure, too, by the way. You know, we went from uh, good old king dollar on Monday, I mean Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Tuesday had some good price spread, had volume behind the move. We did 29,000 contracts. Um, and that was a basis. What happens is that uh, it just gave all of its energy up on Tuesday. You know, Tuesday did the 29,000. Yesterday you did 21. Today you did 18. It got into the gap. It couldn't hold the gap. The gap that we're talking about, the top of that gap was 99,560. Um, almost got back up to it. You got 99,500, but that's not good enough. That's the bottom line. And what does that set up? Guess what? That sets up another run downtown into the 98,335. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. The Dow finished down 23. NASDAQ was off 13. S&P's off 4.5. We're going to be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. 
Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So Dow finished uh, down 23, Nasdaq off 13, S&P's off four and a half. Let's go over and take a look at uh, good old JWN uh, Nostrums. Nostrums closed at uh, $46.21. It's trading at $44.70. And uh, bottom line is that they're going to have a tough time, too. Uh, what's intriguing here is that, you know, Nostrums definitely didn't... Uh, it, Money-wise, okay, it wasn't as bad as uh, um, uh, Macy's. But the bottom line, folks, is that these retailers, they're done. They're absolutely done. So the revenue, uh, Nostrum, they expected $3.3 billion. They did 3.5. So they did over uh, what they were expected. Bottom line, what people are looking at right now, they're looking at a comp sales. Uh, the estimate they expected that, you know, they could stay flat, well, the comp sales, uh, we're down eight tenths of one percent, which was, which was minimal compared to Macy's. Macy's folks was down four point, I think four point five percent in comp sales, which is just pretty amazing. Uh, bottom line, though, you know what? They're shrinking, and our habits have totally changed. And the bottom line is that uh, the age of big, beautiful stores, because Macy's is a dynamite store. Nostrum is a dynamite store. You better take pictures of them, folks, because uh, they'll have a few of them across the country uh, 10, 15 years from now. But the bottom line, that's, that, that, that'll be about it. Now, let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday and Thursday. Basil's got a great show on a TFNN right now, folks. Every trading day, right here. 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Remember, you can get it right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. On the right-hand side, hit Tiger TV. And folks, if you never did, you know, watch us on your cell phone, please try it. You're going to love it. It's a, it's, a, it's a great technology we have. It transfers great on 
every computer, cell phones, doesn't matter, iPads. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you want charts, you want uh, some clarity. We have it 24 hours a day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. All these poor big stores, Basil. You know, I know you got that beautiful Chestnut Hill Mall near you, man. I think, you know, these things are going to be rel We're actually going to see it, Basil. We're going to see it like 10, 12 years from now. They're going to be relics. I don't know what's going to be there, man, but, you know. I mean, what, what could replace them? I mean, this is, they'll have to entertainment centers, I guess, something like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you're absolutely, I mean, look at this. You spoke about JWN. Look at this. In, in my work now, of course, in the Chapman Wave methodology, we look for the lowest, most identifiable low. I'm showing the chart, and we count at least four peaks high, and at peak D, the fourth highest peak, other things can happen. So that's the objective. And what happened? Look at JWN. JWN is, of course, a Nordstrom, yeah. and it goes from this low bar right here on the 22nd. It goes from 40.69, it goes four peaks higher to this peak D right there with a down arrow at 50.22, trading right now at 44. Uh, you know, you're absolutely right. Macy's, we spoke about it last week. Look at this. May oh, look at that candle. Yeah. That is terrible. And what we, what we were looking at, and we just uh, looked at it briefly before uh, we wrapped up the interview, we looked at Costco. And now Costco, I don't know whether, what happened with, uh, they must have had some kind of a payment or something like that. The peaks don't change, but the actual price has changed, but the lettering doesn't. And it went it went to a D and then it snuck to an E, the fifth highest peak, and now it's pulling back. But it has been one of the better ones is leg D in the weekly chart and leg D in the monthly. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, this is and, and well, th this is intriguing. So, so watch. And this is what one of the differences are, folks. Okay, is that when when we're talking, you know, we're talking like a Macy's or Nordstrom. What ends up happening, of course, you know, you're talking um, clothes, you're talking utensils, you're talking appliances, right? Not a lot of not big appliances. Now, when you talk Costco, folks, you know, I can Amazon can definitely hit them in the paper towel. You know, toilet paper, Kleenex, some laundry detergents. But guess what? Costco folks makes a fortune on meat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it on meat? Because yeah. I, you know, I, look, yeah. I always looked. I, I, we don't yeah. get that often, but whenever I go, I'm always, in, always. I have this joke. I always say to friends, Costco must have these special plastic containers. And they grow their apples and pears and plums in them because everyone is just perfect. They and it fits are. Oh, you're so it right. Exactly. And the tuna, they've got the little cans already, and they put them into the ocean, and the little tuna swims right into them because it's a perfect fit. And then they lift up. <laughs> you know, you're so right. You know what? I forgot about the, the fruits. And that that's another one, the fruits. And I bet I've, I, I got to find out with them. I bet they make a fortune on fruits, too, because they are they so. are gorgeous, man. They And you know what? Has, you end up buying more than you need, of course, right? Because they look buy, so nice. You always get a discount, but you end up eating half, and then half goes to waste. Yeah. But you, I guess in the end you get a bargain. But yeah, it's a very interesting thing because look at the monthly chart. Costco is um, at new highs, and you've got Macy's. Oh, look at that! It's at lows that you didn't see the last time you were in this area was 2011. And it was at 1.70, 73.61. So there's, there's what's going on right now. This is a 21st century phenomenon. And I think what we're looking at is a situation where um, the same rotation that's going on through all the different industries is what we're even seeing in the brokerage area because now you can start trading um, anything for minimal. I, I don't know if you remember, but there was a ch time when you actually paid about – 60 or 70 dollars to do a trade uh, yeah. through Merrill Lynch. You remember? Uh, sure. And it, was, it wasn't instantaneous. You had a way to find if you had it. There was a whole I, th I think, I think, the, I think my first trades, I think I, I had, uh, I left Rothschild, I think, and I think I bought, like, I don't know, either Apple or Microsoft or one of these. And I think it was like a thousand shares, and it was like two hundred and forty-two dollars or something. Oh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, a yeah. lot of money. Like and, crazy, uh, things, right? And that, and that. You see, I, I look at this as the commoditization of almost everything. Yeah. But if by choice you want to choose to have, say, uh, an Audi instead of something that is comparable in getting you from 
place A to place D, um, you can choose to spend more money, but you don't have to. No, and you I don't. think that, that whole commoditization of everything with all countries now around the world looking to sell you the same thing and to cost cut, I think that's, in a sense, that's deflationary. Sure. What is inflationary is the stuff that you actually have to have, like the insurances and things like that. Medical costs are really skyrocketing. So this is a very interesting period. So, And what's fascinating in the, in the cyclical area, if you look at the Dow, the Dow, we've been talking about this for quite a while now. Uh, for subscribers, we still remain short the Dow, and the Dow since the 1st of March made its high at 21,169, and it pulled back to 20,379 April the 19th, ran up, and still, in what is it, 10 weeks, has not broken to a new recovery high. And that's the whole cyclical area. So I think that the, under the there are five financials in, in the Dow, and I think they're also coming under the same kind of cost pressure. And I wouldn't be surprised if what we're looking at is when you see the QQQ series, that's the NASDAQ, the index 100, that's in a pricing, a different pricing ball game altogether. As I say, that's kind of 21st century technology yeah. that we're looking at. Pretty wild. Fascinating. Yeah. Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Go to newsletters. Bowser will get a great newsletter, the opening call. You can test drive it right now, right here. 30 days, absolutely free. And, of course, don't forget, every trading day, 11 o'clock, right here, 11 or 12. Basil, thanks so much. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Have a great evening. You too. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. This this segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, some of the uh, Dow stocks out here, you had uh, out here today, you had, uh, let's see, Big Mac was uh, down 31 cents. IBM was uh, down 60. You had Caterpillar up 64. Exxon was up 70. Disney was down 8. Uh, DuPont was up 16. Let's go to our man, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on, my brother? That's a beautiful day when your stock goes up almost a dollar. That is a beautiful day, particularly because of that downdraft that you had last week, man. Well, all the news was all the news was good, and they were just taking a loss on uh, future uh, settlements, so I wasn't worried about it. I moved my stop down a little bit further, so it didn't take me out. Okay, wait, I, yeah, let, let's. Instead, of, we, we got an in, we got an inside game going here, Al. I got to explain. Sorry, uh, folks. Let me explain to you what's going on. Because I, I know that the stocks Al owns, and he owns Liquid Lumbidator and Wendy's. And what happened is that um, on the uh, May second, Liquid Lumbidator went from twenty four ninety down to nineteen forty six, uh, and it had some volume. So. Uh, you're still in it. Okay. You're going to be careful, man. You know, uh, that. I was, I was wondering, how do you take profits on uh, your stock when it starts to go up? I, do you sell into a, a new high or do you, uh, uh, I just, you sell only a third of your stock? I remember a book I read that, uh, about getting into stocks and it was, you know, the turkeys, the turkeys, a bunch of turkeys, 20 turkeys, and he didn't get in there, and then he ends up getting no turkeys at all. Uh, yeah, so the, the cool thing here, Al, is that you didn't, you know, get stopped out of that downdraft, okay? So that right. flushed a lot of people out because the bottom line is that, you know, that just gapped. It, it, what happened, folks, is that it closed at 24.41. It gapped down to 21 on the open, and then went down to uh, 1946. Uh, now, let me see something here. Yeah, see, this is good. this is dangerous now. So you have a there's a 26 percent shot position. So one out of every four stocks a, a shot, um, which is which is good fire, and that's why it snapped back so quick. That being said, um, I would have a stop in this thing every night because um, the closer that you get to to this uh, $27.79, that's going to be a big supply line that's going to be pretty hard to get through, man. You know? Because that's, okay. that's, that's when... What happened, folks, is that February of 2015, they had the... Lumber from China with all sorts of chemicals in it that had a, it was a problem. Bottom line, the stock went from sixty-nine dollars to forty-seven the first month. Next month it went to thirty-two. Next month it went to twenty-seven. So that's your supply line, and it's a monster, man. So, you know, it doesn't mean you can't get through it, but the way that I've always seen it, when when you get through a supply line, is that it takes a long time to repair the damage. So this is off the, the bottom, and it's off it good. You normally go into the supply line. It doesn't get enough volume the first time. It backs off again. What you're looking for every time, if you decide to hold it, every time that you're going into that supply line, you're looking for the volume to expand. It gets rid of some more stock. Backs down again. Expand, backs down again. If you get that, when you get that normally three times and you have an expansion of volume, that's when you can start eating into that supply line. So... That, okay. That's going to so be a I, hard choice. I'll have, an, I'll have an opportunity to sell some. Good. Yeah. And it's going to be a hard choice for you because you've done so well in the stock. That's, 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 it's going to be a mind battle that you're going to have. That's, that's how this thing shakes out. Now, let's go over to Wendy's, all right? Wendy's, you, you got some action here, man. You, you get an ABC up, another ABC up. So, let me see this thing. Okay. That's a beauty. Close call, but looks to me like nine, fourteen. That's five. Oh, that's interesting. It's still. It's got about eighteen bucks into it. Let me pull this back further. Uh, 
Oh, this is interesting. So watch this, folks. Wendy's went down so quick. When Wendy's went down in 2006, yeah, uh, it went from $22 to 263 in a heartbeat. Now, that's what ends up happening when you go down so quick. Once you get some traction, you can go up just as quick. Well, with Wendy's, you know, you're at $15.93. I would make sure that you bring that stop up every day, Al. And you don't, I mean, you can put the stop now underneath that monster day that you had yesterday, man, that, that dollar day up. I'd put it somewhere into 1505, you know, and just let it keep running, man. Um, I got one other question. What about GFI? GFI, let's take a look at GFI. GFI uh, is gold fields. This is a South African, uh, not just South African uh, equity, but they're, they're headquartered in South Africa. Um, let me put this up in South Africa for a second, too. Okay, so you're inside the larger range. Okay, so they all caught a bid today. The cool thing is with GFI is it actually got over the 26th, and that's a big number. That's where the downdraft will really, where they're caught. So, I mean, GFI is going to make a run for uh, 399 to 428. That, that, the 428, that last high, man. Yeah, it was nice. I got in there about four days ago. Nice. And, you know, the, the, okay. the bottom line is that we'll see uh, what type of a bid they get when they get up to that swing high. But what has happened today, folks, is this, is that you had the, the, the gold contract itself did all right, not great. Um, the dollar, though, failed. The gold equities, they caught a big bid. They, they, straight across the board, they got a bid, they got the volume behind the bid, they got, uh, they got, got it all. Um, you know, so I expect what we're going to see is that, that uh, tomorrow, that bottom line is that they will also probably follow through. If we look at the GDX, the GDX also had a, a good close. The GDX uh, on the close did 17 million shares. You know, now that happens every day, folks. The GDX always does a bunch of shares, but a 17 million, well, that's, that's much, that's a good one. That's, that's, that's what the GDX needed in order to sustain higher price, you know. So that tonight, um, I mean, if you're watching, you know, the market, keep your eye on that yen for, you know, uh, the aspect of uh, where gold's going to go. You know, the, the yen, what you had with the yen out here today is that uh, we're at, 113.87 and you want this thing of course the lower it goes folks the stronger the yen is the stronger the yen is the higher gold goes you know that's just it the correlation is pretty direct and the yen has got in its higher range so the the lower range for the yen is 111.63 i don't see that happening overnight you know, but we'll see whether it can work on it tonight. If we go to the Nikkei, let's just see if we can get anything out of the Nikkei. Well, out of the Nikkei, you know, that just that just hung at highs last night, and well, the volume's not bad. Cooking, brother. Thank you, Tom. Have a great one, Al. Have a safe one. Okay. You st you stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow finished down 23. Nasdaq off 13. S&P's down 450. We're gonna be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. 
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right on the top of the carousel uh, coming this Saturday morning, uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, second workshop uh, uh, for my subscribers of uh, Market Insights. Uh, you can come into this workshop. Uh, this workshop, uh, so you go to the front page of TFNN. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you're going to get a copy of my book, The Out of Time in the Trade, uh, coming uh, this Saturday morning, 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, the first workshop I did, folks, was uh, Sunday night uh, from 5.45 to 7.00. And what we were going through at that workshop was we were going through the markets, number one. We were looking at uh, the Paris election and see in, uh, where the volatility was, if in fact there was any. The bottom line, the markets uh, had moved uh, prior to that, meaning the uh, indices, uh, the uh, currencies. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this workshop, 9 to 10, uh, not to this Saturday morning, we're going to be going over all the markets, the world markets, the commodity markets, uh, and give you a, an idea of where I think these markets are going to be trading in the next two or three months. So if you'd like to come to this workshop, you can come over to our website. You can test drive my daily newsletter. One month, absolutely free. Bottom line, well, it's, it's, you, know, you pay $169. You don't like it, you get your money back. That's, that's, that's how that works. Um, you're going to, uh, you get a copy of my book, you come into the workshop. Uh, as you're over there, if you want to uh, test drive the uh, gold report, bottom line, you can test drive the gold report also. Uh, and that's uh, test drive the gold report for one month. Uh, Market-wise out here, uh, so let's go to the GDX for a second. So the GDX always puts some uh, good juice into it at the closes out here, and you know, this put quite this put 17 million in, which which by the way we needed. Uh, it was going into like 67 million. It was going into 71 million. You're going into 75 million. We did 65 million. Uh, we closed at the 22.43, 37 rather, and uh, close of a 22.27 was good. So I expect uh, tomorrow what you're going to get here is that uh, we're going to get another expansion, and the real kick is going to be uh, can it get up and over this 22.92. Uh, it did on the on the retracements. Let me show you this. On the retracements, uh, bottom line is that you know it rejected lower price. It had lighter volume, all of the above. You know we we got down last week with 307 million shares. You're going into 394, as well as 404. 
uh, went down into those lower levels, rejected it, had lower volume, rejected price. What that sets up now, that sets up a run to 24.88, which was the last swing high, which was established out here on the 14th of uh, April. That's how that sets up. Um, if we go take a look at the XAU, the HUI, uh, same type of setup. Bottom line, you're at 83.84, and you want to take a look at this baby, and you'll see the type of rejection that you get inside the uh, XAU. We, we did uh, 211 million. That was going into 288, and that was coming into 358, and you had a rejection on all of them. And it's going to get really intriguing this week. It just stays where it's at. It says you don't only get a rejection, but uh, bottom line is that this baby, so the way that the XAU is set up is that you can actually make a run to 97, and right now we're at 83. If we go to the Gold Bugs Index, we take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. The Gold Bugs Index right now is up 510. You put this on a weekly, and the Gold Bugs Index, when we tested the lows, the way that we tested the lows is that you come down with the test of 143, 143 million, which was going into 204 which was going into 214. And the Gold Bugs Index can make the run to 222. Now, the thing that's going to get really intriguing is this. This retracement wasn't a deep retracement. You know, when you look at the whole context, it's not a deep retracement. So now you get to this 222. There's no reason that you can't get up to 233. You know, if, and if you break that level, and we have juice behind the move, then you're going to see some big action because between the lows and the highs, you're talking 66 points, which could get you, what, 288. That's interesting, yeah. So, so this is always intriguing to me how this works. So watch this. This, this consolidation, it, you know, has been on since the beginning of December of 2016, folks. And, you know, some of you folks were in this run. I know you were because you got the goal report. And that first run was extraordinary. The first run in January uh, of 2016 up until July was just, that was the biggest run since 20, 2002. It was huge. Um, second run was good. The second run here, you know, from uh, March up until April was good. That being said, uh, what you have here is this. So, so picture, that's the, how long the consolidation has been in place. You take this out. We take this 222 out and we have juice behind the move. Bottom line is that your price projection is the highs of August of 2016. That, that would be quite a move. Um, what we did have out here today, the first indication that um, you, know, you could get a move like that uh, was Royal Gold. Royal Gold today, folks, was up $4.80. You talk about price spread and volume, monster. Uh, bottom line is that you don't, you don't see moves like this. So we went from $70.17 to $75.29. You're coming into a swing point that has 640,000 shares. We did $9.88. You turn around, we put this on a weekly basis, and this is going to be an ABC structure on the way up. In fact, this is so cool. I love this one. Okay, so check this out. Your A point on this is 61. Your B is... 75, so you get 14 bucks. Your C's 67, 77, 81. This is going to be a confirmed ABC up to 81. One second. Because what you have is that you're already 75, 68. You have 2.2 million on the weekly. We've done 2.5 million. All this has to do tomorrow is get up uh, like 40 cents. You get up 40 cents, you get a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. What did I just say? 81, and your last high out here is 87. Now, watch that. That's the first part. Second part gets more intriguing. And this is where I want to show you what we have here. When you build these out, it's really wild. Okay. Okay. So when we take the run from January of 2016, the first run I was talking about, 
up to the high. This did just over a 0 0.382 retracement, the whole, the whole retracement, okay? Now, when you do something like that, let me put this back here again. There we go. When you do something like that, now what do you have? You still have another ABC structure that you may have in place. So the A point there, I'm going to ballpark it at 25. The B is 87, you know, so we're talking, uh, what, 62 bucks. And if you get that, you get a, an equity at 122. Let me bring this back. This is wild. Ah, guess what? And the high is 100. This is, this is game, folks. It's game on. It's Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. You'll be coming right back. Don't forget, you can uh, come to the workshop this Saturday uh, by test driving Market Insights. And, of course, you can test drive the Gold Report right at TFNN. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Join Andy Hecht as he shows you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And no, don't forget, folks, I'm Amos Dandy. Heck's going to be coming up next, and you can get him right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV right on the right-hand side, and you're going to get some great uh, HD quality of video, audio, uh, all of the above. Uh, let's go uh, see what uh, good old uh, Nostrum is doing, uh, JWN. So, Nostrum... Okay, so it closed at forty-six dollars and twenty-one cents. That was down three eighty for the day. Uh, trading down another couple dollars right now. And let's with the, see what they say numbers-wise. So uh, 
Okay, so they actually beat on revenue. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Uh, they're still going to take them apart, though, because guess what, folks? It's the same store comp sales that are down. And that is going down versus going up. That's, that's, and that's, that's a big number. There's no, there's no two ways about that. That's how it shakes out. Um, uh, the Saddle uh, posted first quarter sales that missed uh, analyst uh, estimates. Comparable same store sales declined eight tenths of one percent. Uh, the results showed disappointing re reports uh, from the just as uh, Macy's, Dillard's, Kohl's. I'm telling you folks, we got to take pictures of these places because uh, I'm not sure what they're going to put in some of these places, but uh, they certainly are not going to have big mall stores, and some of them are beautiful, there's no doubt. So let's go over to SPG. So SPG, folks, so picture this. Simon Property, and, and the stores we're talking now, you know, we've, I've talked about this before, that the, the C malls, okay, have been getting killed, and the B malls have been getting killed forever. That's Kimco Realty. Kimco is trading $19.34. You know, Kimco had a high of uh, $53, okay? Uh, SPG, now look at the difference. SPG is at 161. You know, this high was 229. That being said, this thing's going to also get killed. And the reason, of course, has to do with this is the largest mall owner in the world. And I expect, what you can see, I, we're, we're at the tipping point now. That's, that's what it looks like to me. We're at the tipping point of shopping, the tipping point of using the internet, and what that is going to do to these high-end stores is just destroy them. And the next destroyer on the marketplace, of course, is that if the A-malls get killed, which, is, which the, in, inside the A-malls you have Macy's, you have the Dillard's, you have the Nordstrom's, okay? Those are basically A-malls, they're beautiful malls. Bottom line, that being said, guess what? Um, they evidently have come to the tipping point, too. And they start going backwards. What will happen next is that, uh, you know, one of the main reasons that Simons could go up for so long, you know, had to do, you know, Simons uh, had to do with the refinancing of all their properties in the debt uh, after the 2008 crash. You know, because what you had there is that, you know, Simons went from $22 up to $220. That had to do with the refinancing of all its debt because the interest rates got, went so low. So that's a great deal. That being said, guess what? Now you're coming into the aspect is that, okay, what tenants are we going to have? What are the, how are they going to replace their major stores? And what happens here is this. It's not only the replacement of the store, it's the replacement of the monster store in order to bring clients that have a lot of money into those other stores. So guess what? It's problems in paradise, folks. You stay right there. I'm Adam Mr. Andy Hicks. Going to be coming up growling and prowling with you. And always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.
This is TFNN.